Hey internet, one second. Norigami episode, um, uh, Arigato ep episode 9. Sorry I skipped over this one, but, uh, um, or at least uh, this one came out really late, but apparently episode 9, pretty much I can summarize this as best I fucking can. Yato pretty much wants, wants, wants to get out, and the only way for him to get out, or what they're allowing him to leave with, is that, is that apparently, I believe, Nor, um, um, Hiki's father... Now she's fucking telling him, she's, she's fucking telling him that he has to go and rescue Ebisu. And when he sees Ebisu, he's perfectly fine. However, Ebisu, he doesn't want to leave because he wants to go down to, um, to, to Izanami's lair because, because he wants to get the brush, or at least this mystical brush, in which that he wants to use so that he can control all of, all of the phantoms because he wants to use the phantoms to to not do bad things he want he wants to enslave them so that they can so that he so that he he can use them for positive things such as helping people and all that other shit which really isn't all that which really isn't a bad idea the problem with that is though is that when he tries to do it by himself they usually blight him and then he dies dies due to infection and then he then he has to be re, re reincarnated which is something that happens to him a lot but going on from his reincarnations though is that that of course they good um uh, they both do meet izanami and of course she seems to take upon the appearance of pretty much the person who that you care for most because because she is a being or a god who switches up her persona so much in which that like she says that whenever somebody looks at her real self it scares them away and for yato she takes the appearance of hiyori and for ebisu he takes i believe she takes the appearance of i believe one of the women who actually took 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 care of him when he was younger so you know however however she she says that she will give them the brush brush and uh, and uh, she will help them if one of them stays down there and they become her friend of course however they both don't have have any intention of staying down there for the rest of fucking eternity so of course you know they both have a duel and and of course all this was a fucked up ploy because because Ebisu uses one of his bats to go and to go and to go and steal the brush and then they break out fucking running. And this is also another episode in which that in which that we find out that Hiki is also under Ebisu's employee. <laughs> another god who who really doesn't doesn't give a fuck about about Nora's and shit, of course. Because for him she is a gun. For Yato she's a she is a she is a normal like sword which which can control water, of course. But um but it cuts from that. However, there is a another little plot point that is that is going on. Apparently, Hiyori is slowly forgetting about Yato and everything that is spiritual. Now fucking now fucking Tenjin says that this is a good thing, but the problem with that is though is that since Yato is a god who pretty much just like all gods that that they need 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 a lot of recognition to actually exist. The problem with that is though is that if she forgets about him and uh, and also Yukine, there is a good chance that this is only speeding up Yato's disappearance. You know, hopefully that this does because some become something that is fixed in the future. But till then though, that is what I gotta say about that. Please keep watching anime, keep playing video games. And honestly, I don't even know why she's losing her memory at uh, at this point. Probably probably could be because he was gone for a month. But till then, that is what I gotta say about that. Let me let me let me know what you think. I'm out.